Here are the 10 facts you definitely didn't know about that note. Like, did you know that? Ryuk's original design is something else that never made the cut. But this time because it was too distracting. See, before the artist of manga settled on this look, Ryuk was originally supposed to look like this. And that's because Obaro, the artist wanted the Shinigami to look like edgy meme laws. But there was just one issue. The original design of Rook was too good looking. Oboda said that people would end up thinking Rook was the main character. So he decided to make the Rook look nothing like a human being and change the design of the flying zombie, the elf that we have today. It was definitely a good change but I can't say the same for the next point. Cause the entire production team made a critical animation mistake. In episode 1, when Light first sees the Death Note falling out of the sky, it lands on the ground facing down. But later when he goes to pick it up, the cover is facing him. A mistake like that is just embarrassing. Or does it mean that someone else picked it up before Light? But a mistake like that doesn't impact the story of Death Note. Unlike the other mistake that changed the course of the Death Note forever. After Elle's death, the series needed someone to compete against Light's massive brain. So they ended up replacing L with two big brains, Near and Mellow. But it was until the anime began getting printed that the editor realized they have accidentally swapped the two characters. That's right, the lovable and quiet Neo was supposed to have this crazy design and the obnoxious Mellow was supposed to have this one. Recently, Obardo admitted that he was glad that this mistake happened and I gotta agree, even though Near and Mellow technically have the wrong design, I think they are a much better fit for the story. A mistake like that can never happen with Light and Yell because they are completely different and the anime shows this in very subtle ways. Like did you know that Light had a Microsoft PC while Yell used a Mac? Two brands that have been enemies for decades. Nobody sneaks into tiny details like the Death Note creator. The next one is more like an easter egg than a fact. I mean we all are aware that Death Note comes with a set of rules and Rook tells Light that a person using Death Note can never go to hell or heaven. And to prove this, the creators of Death Note got so creative that look where light dies, exactly in the middle of the stairs. It means if the bottom is hell and the top is heaven, light died in the middle, which says that he never made it to hell or heaven. Now did you know that with just one Death Note, light was able to kill 250,000 people. Since he had the Death Note for about 6 years, this means he killed 40,000 a year and an average of 114 a day. But there is a limit to the Death Note. You see, there can only be up to 6 active death nodes at once. If a 7 death node were to be dropped into the world, it wouldn't have any special powers. And the only way to make it work would be to destroy one of the other death nodes. After death node finished, a special volume came out and spilled the bean. The volume came with this suspicious name card and on the back of the card is L's real name. L Lowlight. That's right, his name is literally L. What a big brain play. Now did you know that L was supposed to have kids? He was going to be near and Melo's dad right until the writers realized one crucial thing. There is no way El could ever get married. He's got no risk. It's harsh but fair. Take a look at some of the weirdest things he does. Like this girl literally doesn't take a shower. He's too busy for those. So instead he jumps into a washing machine. And the way he sits is like the final nail in the coffin. According to him, his reasonable abilities drop by 40% if he sits like a human. He literally never sits normally, not even in the toilet. Yeah, we need to take L to a therapist. But let's talk about the kid who is almost his son, Nia. When I first saw N's logo, I thought he was ripping off L. But Nia's logo has an easter egg that you probably didn't know. Other than the obvious N, you can also see the outlines of the letters A, T, N and E, spelling out NEED, which is Nia's original name. This is just a fragment of what I have. If you like this kind of stuff, comment down for part 2. Bye!